In this recent study, we have made two rather important breakthroughs or discoveries. In the first part, we have been able to identify, after many, many years of research, the receptor proteins that detect DEET in insects and other arthropods. DEET is this commonly used insect repellent that was discovered by the Army in the late 1940s. And this is the first time that scientists, our group here at University of California, Riverside, has been able to identify olfactory receptors that can smell it and that is used by the insect to avoid DEET. In the second part of the story, we have been able to take this information and design improved DEET substitu substitutes. DEET is, while it's a really useful insect repellent, also has some harmful properties. It can solubilize plastics, nylons, rayons. In fact, if you were to spray DEET onto even your shiny shoes, you would lose the shine. In fact, a small piece of plastic, if you drop it in it, within a few hours, it would disappear and dissolve. It's also been implicated in potential health problems, such as DEET can, is known to block a human enzyme that is required for functioning of the nervous system. What we have been able to do then is find substitutes that are as effective as DEET, work through the same receptor, and are approved as chemicals that can be added to human food. So they are very safe, they do not dissolve plastics, and they are very effective, uh, hopefully they are affordable as well, effective in repelling insects. This breakthrough, or this set of breakthroughs, makes two things possible. Since the 1950s, people have been trying to find substitutes for DEET without much success because the recept receptors were not known. And now that we have the receptors, we can apply very powerful technology, like we have had in this paper, uh, using modern computational biology, using high-throughput analysis, and we can find not only a few, but several different compounds that can act as novel insect repellents. So this enables us to take the discovery to market much faster. One of the dreams we have with these compounds is that they are potentially affordable enough and simple enough that they may be of use in preventing diseases in Africa, Asia, Latin America, parts of the world which suffer enormously from mosquito-borne and insect-borne diseases, however, parts of the world where DEET is not used because it is too expensive. One of the most exciting things is that the DEET receptor protein, this receptor called IR40A, is highly conserved across several insect species, and these receptors are very well conserved in some agricultural pest insects as well. What that means is perhaps we could create, using this technology, a whole new generation of safe chemicals that could protect against agricultural pests from attacking their crops.